It's coming along right on time. He only knew what he was talking about when he said he'd use the old trails of the mountains. All right, boys, do your stuff. Open the box and give me that money. Billy the Kid couldn't have engineered that any better himself, Gil. If Dave and Pete don't box things up, we'll have $30,000 to split. Hold it! Pete, he's in. Get rid of those guns. Hand over the saddlebag. Now, wait a minute. You heard me. Hope you live long enough to spend it. I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. Get moving. A couple of more halls like this one, and we'll all be in clover. I'm not pressing my luck. As soon as we divide the money, I'm hitting for New Mexico. Still got Billy on your mind? Yeah. I hear he's too smart to be hung. His smartness won't help him now. He's been framed. I heard he was sold out for a price that wouldn't even have bought his horse. That's because he's made enemies. Bill is no different from any other gunman. They all got enemies. Any shooting my brother's son has been forced on him. Well, the kid's never been in these parts, so I can't give you an argument on that. Sounds like Wendy coming to the buckboard now. You fellas better hit for the line shack so the rest of the Lazy A bunch can pick you up on their way into town. Too bad you're going to miss the fun. I'll make it up. So long. So long. Whoever it was gave me the slip. Well, the money's sure gone, eh? What? Yep, them fellas getting you to chase them was just a trick to get you out of the way. Where'd it happen? Right where you left me. You mosey on into town. I'll ride back and see if I can pick up their sign. Believe me, Clint.
It isn't one o'clock yet, is it, Jim? It sure is, Mary. You better skim over to the express office and close it up. That lazy able to be along any minute. I can't understand why the businessmen of this town allow a bunch of cowboys who want to play Wild West intimidate them into closing their shops on the busiest day of the month. The experience has shown us it's the only thing to do. What we need in Corral City is a sheriff. Yeah, you'll have to travel a long way to these parts before you'll find anybody who's willing to take the job. Pardon me, folks. Is this today uh, Sunday? Of course not. Well, is it a holiday of some sort? No. Nope. You're a stranger, aren't you? Yeah, got in a day or two ago. Come in from over New Mexico way. <clears throat> if today ain't Sunday and it ain't a legal holiday, uh, what day is it? Wednesday. Hmm, well, uh, what's happening to the town? Is it closing up? Yeah, temporarily. How come? On the first of the month, the hands from the Lazy Eight celebrate. There's always a lot of shooting and rust stuff. So the citizens of the community disappear and let them do what they want. Don't the law butt in? Lazy A's all the law we have. Hmm. No uh, sheriff or marshal? We can't keep one on the job. I think I'm going to kind of like it here. Wendy seems to be in a hurry. Oh. Gil Cooper's not with him. I wonder what that means. I got bad news for you, Miss Mary. I was held up about ten miles down the road. Oh. It's all right, though. Gil's going to pick up their trail. Well, come on in the office and tell me about it. Brand at all. I guess he's a maverick. What do we do with him? Let's make him set him up for the house. Hey, I'm 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 money. I'm 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 we're not going to take his word, boys. No. no. Let's dump him. but maybe he could use a little hair tonic. Good! Starts coming out your ears, Fuzzy. It's time to stop. Billy! Why, you old son of a gun. Kid, are you a sight for sore eyes? You don't look so bad yourself, Fuzzy. Hey, did you have any trouble getting out of New Mexico after I left you? Plenty. The law was right on my tail. I had to hold up a couple of times. That's what kept me from getting here sooner. Did you run into any trouble? No, not a bit. They never connected me with helping you break jail. 
Well, I guess what we heard about this town's right, Fuzzy. Peaceful and quiet. <laughs> She's not as peaceful as she looks. I'm sorry to hear that, because it's been profitable already. Hey, you tell me. Let's get something wet first. Hey, there's a mighty wild bunch in that saloon. Let's see just how wild they are. Come on. <laughs> hey, Stray's back with another one. Say, that newcomer's the one that stuck me and Pete up. He sure is. Yeah? You and Pete beat it. I'll get that money back. Give me something to get the dust out of my throat. I thought you said there was a wild bunch in here. Well, uh, that's what I thought. Real people like to me. Hey, stranger, I want to talk to you. I'm particular who I talk to. Get him! Now, what is it you want? I want that money you lifted this morning. Oh, now I'm beginning to see daylight. I thought you would. You're one of the hombres that express guard chased down the road. What about him? Tell him for me he's a rotten shot. Or is he? Never mind him. Do I get it or don't I? You don't. Come on, Fuddy. Wait a minute. Give me. How do you expect to find that money if you kill him? Don't go back there. Go after them and go. They bushwhacked Billy. Committing suicide won't do any good. Oh. We've got to get him fixed up. You know where we can take him? Yes. Give me a hand. I'm all right. Uh, you've got to get fixed up first, kid. Come on. Come on, let's get out of here. Stranger was shot by one of the lazy A boys. He's got a bad flesh wound. Well, take him in the other room and I'll go get the doctor. The doctor said you were very lucky. Yeah, I guess I was. But it sure knocked me out for a while. I'll say it did. <laughs> Here, drink this. Doctor's orders, you know. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance. Why, well, you're not at all, Billy. You know, I don't even know your last name. Clark. Billy Clark, Miss Barton. How do you do, Mr. Clark? How do you do? Has Fuzzy been in this morning? Yes, but you were asleep. He said he'd come back later. Well, I have something very important to tell him, so if you'll excuse me, I'll see if I can round him up. I certainly. Wendy said you wanted to see me. What'd you do with my horse? Oh, Jim put him in the liver stable last night. Well, get over there, Prano, and get those saddlebags. Well, what's the idea? The money from the express hold us in. Holy shit. No, Jim. Thought we'd come around and see how you're getting along after your accident. Than you expected. Well, we're certainly glad to hear it. Haven't I seen you before? You're right. But I don't think you'll say anything about it. Maybe not. You know, you're leaving town with us. Oh, I see. Your aim wasn't so good yesterday. This time you're going to make sure, huh? Our talking ain't going to get you anywhere. Oh, 
hello, boys. I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time for his medicine. Come on, take your medicine like the nurse said. Much obliged. You ever still figuring on taking me out of town? What's going on here? Looks like they ganged up on you. Well, they tried to. Get him out of here, buddy. Your feet ain't good to the ground. Come on, get out! I see you got my saddlebags, buddy. Yeah, I, uh, uh, uh... He didn't get them, I did. Suppose you explain how the money that was stolen from the express company was in here. On my way into town yesterday, I saw this hold up pole. I caught up with a bandit and faced a hold up of my own. Before I had a chance to find out who the money belonged to, I was shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he was shot before he got a chance to find out whose money it was. He told me everything and there was nothing in the saddlebags. So I thought maybe he was imagining things, you know, sort of out of his head. <laughs> Wait a minute, Fuzzy. If you think I had anything to do with it, you can ask the fellow who was driving that buckboard. He'll tell you I didn't hold him up. Billy, you'll never know what this means to me. Well, I have a pretty good idea, Miss Barton. $30,000 is a lot of money. Uh, I hope to tell you. <laughs> Billy's always helping folks, you know. He even goes out of his way to do it. You intend to leave or stay around? I was figuring to drift on, but after what's happened, I think I'll stick around a while. In that case, I got a proposition to make. What's that? As long as you're going to have it out with the lazy A crowd, why not make it legal? What do you mean? Well, if we were to make you sheriff, it'd be a good thing for us and for you, too. Me, a sheriff? Yes. Yeah. Why, you don't know anything about me, I... <laughs> I know enough to convince me that you can handle the job. I'm afraid that's a line. Well, I don't know if I'd blame you. There isn't a man in the county that would take the job. Hey, you insinuating that Billy's afraid? No, but... There ain't no buts about it. We'll take the job. Wait a minute, buddy. Not the fact. Hey, ain't nobody gonna say we're afraid of anything. And besides, I, I've always wanted to wear a badge. What do you say? You I sure can. All right. That's the deal. I'll send the money over to you. And we'll make arrangements as where the boys is. Then we can clean up. We'll clean up, all right. We do it on the level. You mean we're going to be some medicine? Huh? She helped me, didn't she? Yes, yeah, she did. When the lazy boys see this, things are sure going to pop. Don't worry. Sheriff Clark will enforce it. <laughs> hey, there's another one in proclamation. Well. Well, it's a beauty, ain't it? Yeah. A work of art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty. Let him up, Joe. Come on, boys, get what you want. Put that sign back where it was. <laughs> you heard me. Put it back. Say, listen. If you didn't have that gun, I'd fix you so you couldn't put up any more signs. You think so? Yeah. I'll give you a chance to try it. Take off that gun belt.
Give me some water. I'll put that sign back where it was. And remember, that sign means what it says. No more guns in Corral City. And if you guys want any more trouble, why, we'll take care of you. Now, get out! Wait a minute. Here's your gun. Here's your hat. One way or another, Clark's got to be shuffled out of the deck for keeps. And Gil Cooper's the boy to do it. We'll turn him loose on the ship. Idea. Just catch your glimmers on that there piece of right. You know it's good for you. Leave that gun alone. I'm the law, and I intend to enforce that proclamation. Don't be foolish. I quarrels with your boss, not with you. Anybody picks on Sheriff Clark picks on me. Suppose we settle that after I finish with him. <laughs> after he gets through with it, there won't be anything left for me. Maybe so. But given this with my compliments, and you might tell him Gil Cooper's waiting for him in the saloon. Gil Cooper's going to shoot it out with you. So I understand. Well, why should he want to be after you? Well, I don't know, unless it's because I returned that money that was stolen from you. Well, what makes you say that? He hasn't been around since, has he? No, he hasn't. Just how much do you know about this Gil Cooper? Nothing, except his reputation as a gunman. Is that the reason you hired him to write guard for you? Yes, it is. Hey, Billy! Oh, Gil Cooper's at the saloon and he's waiting for you. He didn't keep me waiting very long, did he? Isn't there something you can do to stop him? You ain't got nothing to worry about. You don't know Billy. <clears throat> Gil, here he comes. Come on, Pete. You looking for me, Sheriff? Gil stalling for. Just to pull the trigger or recognize you, Billy. Good thing I recognize you too, Gil. We're in a spot. They're expecting me to kill you. Do it, I say, and we'll be all right.
Hey, I thought you had him corralled. So did I. He sure pulled a fast one that time. If you fell for it, so will the others. How about getting a posse to ride with you, Sheriff? Jill Cooper's bad medicine. Thanks, boys, but this is a perfect between Cooper and me. Mary and me will have the jailhouse all thick and fan for you, Billy. Gil recognized the sheriff. Didn't you hear him yell, Billy, just after he shot? His brother's named Billy. Billy the Kid, sheriff of Corral County. Come on. Can't I get out of these female garments now? Not until you get that rubber out. Well, I can't let anybody see me in this outfit. And why not? I'm a deputy sheriff. I gotta hold up the dignity of this office. Oh, fiddlesticks. Come on, I'll get it outside. Uh, Come on. I want to be a sheriff and wear a star. What do I do? Do you do? <laughs> I... When I heard they were holding you down in New Mexico on a trumped-up charge of murder, they were fixing to string you up. I had to do something to help you. I went to the people I thought were my friends to raise some money, but they turned thumbs down on me. Because Billy the Kid was my brother. Well, there was only one thing left to do. I changed my name, hit the Hoot Owl Trail, and joined up with this Lazy A gang. It was swell of you trying to help me, Gil. But I'm sorry you had to go outside the law to do it. Why should you feel that way after what the law did to you? The man who caused all my trouble didn't have anything to do with the law. Yeah, but the law put the price on your head. Sure. And when they did, they made a mistake. That didn't make it any easier for you, Billy. Maybe not. But I don't want you to be in the same fix I'm in, dodging people the rest of your life. As long as I can help you, I don't care. Do you mean that? Sure I do. There's a way you can help me and yourself too, Gil. What's that? This Lazy A gang's been making it pretty tough for a girl. You know who I mean. Mary Barton. Yeah, but Billy, the money we grabbed, it wasn't hers. It belonged to the express company. She was just running the office. That's just it. She's been held up three times. Twice they got away with it. If it happens again, somebody else will be running that office. We've got to get the money from those first two holdups back to her. That's easier said than done, Billy. Maybe not. Has it been split up yet? No. Were there any killing? No, I wouldn't stand for that. That makes it a cinch. You tell me where the cash is and leave the rest to me. Yeah, but Billy, none of this bunch know who you really are. To them, you're just another guy packing a star. They'd start shooting the minute they saw you. That's my worry. I know, but there's no sense you taking any chances when I can walk in on them without any trouble at all. How are you going to get them to turn loose of this money? I'm not going to even try. The first thing they'll know about the money being gone is when Mary Barton announces that Sheriff Clark has recovered the money and the bandits made their escape. That way nobody gets hurt. Sounds all right. You better tell me where this hideout is just in case things don't work out the way you figure. We're using the line shack in the north range of the Lazy A. You know where that is? I can find it if I have to. Where will I meet you? Right here at 8 o'clock tonight. I'll be waiting.
Gil. Hello, Flash. What are you so surprised about? Come on in. I don't know what happened to me after I missed that first shot. You just couldn't pull that trigger again, eh? Not even to save my own life. Oh, that's what buck fever will do for you. I guess that's what it must have been. Maybe you'll get another chance. Maybe. You know, that fella Clark reminds me of someone. Me too. But I can't just remember who. How about you, Gil? Well, I never knew anyone named name of Clark. Well, forget about it. Maybe it'll come to me. Might as well take a hand now that you're here. I don't feel like cards. Oh, come on. It'll take your mind off your troubles. Sure. Clark will never think of looking for you here. Okay, deal me in. Did you have any luck? Yeah, all bad. Did you meet up with Cooper? Meet me over at the office. I can see there's no use asking you if you're caught up with him. Anyhow, I'm glad you're back. You know, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. What's that? The payroll for the Pandora mine will be in tomorrow morning. Yeah, I know about it. You know what's been happening to the payrolls? If it happens again, it might look as if the job is too much for a woman. I've been thinking the same thing, Jim. Well, here I am, raring to go. Well, I'll be around. Need me. All right. What's the matter? Did Joe Cooper give you the slip? No. We got a job to do, Fuzzy, then we're getting out of here. Uh, you mean we're leaving Corral City? Yep. Oh, no. Nice here, and besides, people start to respect my authority. I don't want to go, Billy. Honest, I don't. After I explain a few things, you'll understand why we have to go. Mm, I'm all ears. Well, in the first place, Gil Cooper isn't Gil Cooper. He's my brother. Holy smoke! Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? Well, we're leaving, ain't we? I said we got a job to do first. Well, if that job's got anything to do with bringing in your brother, I don't want any part of it. You think I'm crazy, Fuzzy? Gil's in a jam. We've got to get him out of it. Okay. I'm supposed to meet Gil at 8 o'clock tonight. If he doesn't show up, he told me where I could find him. I'm up in a 20. And 20 more. What time is it, Dave? What, again? That's the fifth time you've asked what time it was in the last hour. What's the matter? You're nervous or something? Maybe he's got the sheriff on his mind. It's exactly 10 o'clock. Thanks. Right. You got nothing to worry about. Pete will spot anybody coming this way. It's up to you, Gil. What are you doing? That's the shack, all right. There doesn't seem to be anybody around. There's one way to find out. Let's have a look. covered. All right. I'm shoving off. The sheriff, he's got nothing on the rest of you. Wait a minute. He's got nothing on any of us. We're just playing a sociable game of cards. Uh, maybe he'll sit in with us. Maybe. Stranger things than that have happened. Well, then let's get on with the game. Sure deal. Well, 
Been sort of expecting you to make an appearance, Sheriff. I didn't expect to see you here. You thought you'd get away with that show you put on town with Gil, huh? Nobody would know that Sheriff Clark and Billy the Kid were one and the same, would they? Get him over against the wall. Get going. Make a break for it, Gil. Rush him. Take them an hour to round up their horses. I turned them all loose. Well, then we're in the clear. We might as well drift on to other parts, huh, kid? There's no sense in going back to town now. How about the payroll? What do you mean? We gonna let them get away with it? Well, whatever you say, kid. All right, we'll grab it off. Good. But not for ourselves. Uh, Mary Barton's having a hard enough time without us making it worse. You mean we lift the payroll and see that she gets it? That's right. Good idea. Well, I'm for it, but if it wasn't for the girl, I'd squat like a stuck pig. Your bark's a lot worse than your bite, Fuzzy. Well. Good morning, Mary. Is the sheriff around? Why, no, Jim. I haven't seen him or Fuzzy since yesterday. You mean they haven't been home all night? No, they haven't. Well, that's funny. Clark promised me he'd be here to keep an eye on that Pandora payroll. You didn't tell him it was coming in today. Well, sure. I figured as long as we had a sheriff, we might as well use it. Jim... I think we've made a terrible mistake. Mistake? How? Well, I hadn't intended telling anyone about this, but now I think I should. Well, she's made a mistake. What are we going to do? I'm going to get a posse together to protect that payroll. You two stay out of sight. I'll handle this. Whatever you say, Billy. I think that's the way you want it, all right. Howdy, Sheriff. What brings you out here? You got the payroll with you? Yeah, I got it, and I'm going to keep it. Oh, no, you're not. I came out here to get it from you. Not on your life you ain't going to get it. Hand it over, Wendy. Be restored. Come on. We'll turn the table. What's the big idea, Sheriff?
that gang's busy while I get this money into town. aren't you, Jim? No. I made the mistake when I give you this star. Take a look. Are you going to deny that you're Billy the Kid? No. Nope. That settles it. Let's see what you got in those saddlebags. I'll save you the trouble. The payroll's in them. Hey, look. What's going on down there? Looks like the kid's in a jam. Hold it. We'll see what happens. I don't suppose there's any use explaining how I got that money. No, you've been caught twice, red-handed. Do you know who you've got there? Yeah. Well, he just held up Windy. We know all about it. I hate to turn you in, kid, but there's nothing else for me to do. But I ain't saying that I'm going to let him stay there. it up, we'll slip in the back way and get Billy. Yeah, we'll never have another chance like this. Now, you fellas keep out of sight. When we get in the express office, bring the horses over. Good. Hand me some of that cotton. 
Thanks for the dinner, Mary. That's all right, Billy. Hold it, folks. We came after Billy, so open that cell. Why, you can't... You do as he says, Jim. As long as Fuzzy wears that star, he's the law. Ain't it the truth? So get busy. What do we do with him? Lock him in there so they won't interfere. You can't do that. I'm the law, ain't I? Billy, you're not... No, I'm not going after the payroll. I'm going after a half a dozen lazy A riders who've been robbing this town poor. What was that? Not like an explosion. The express office. Get around the back, Joe. I don't know better to try to get away from a crack shot like me. Now, come on, get up. Get moving. Oh! All right, you get to your feet. Get out. As my last official act as deputy sheriff of this county, I ask you, Gil Cooper, do you solemnly swear to honor, obey, and enforce the laws of this community? I do. Turn the sheriff's badge on him. Go on, Gil. Hate to see you go, Billy. Won't you change your mind and stay? No, Fuzzy and I sort of have a hankering to travel on. You'll let us hear from you. Sure. Maybe someday our trails will cross again. Who knows? Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Billy.